we will wake up at 11.30. I think that'll give us time to go to see Suzuki. What? You're going to bed? Let's get excited for this. Got all these kisses. A level up? I think this would be level 10 too, right? So that would be also a good indication that we're done. Level 10, 50 kisses. 99 hearts, right? Everyone is talking about Rogue. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. Let's see. Today, Rogue kissed. Goro? Did he? Lover's tree, lover's tree. My son has successfully kissed for the first time. That means Rogue has kissed 50 times in his whole life. Fantastic. I shall strengthen his heart. Now his reputation will be better too. Rogue has reached level 10. He has become a big shot. Yeah, boy. Come on, 99. Yeah, baby. What? Rogue's heart has reached the maximum. He's cleared all the required kisses. Congratulations. Lover's Tree, thank you. I see. All right. Okay. Good night, Rogue. I'm kind of curious if uh, Dad will say anything unique if we... um go back to sleep like oh i'm not disappointed in my son he's kissed everyone in town but before we do that and deal with everything else we need to uh kind of go through a little bit of like memory lane have a good day rogue all of the memories All right, we saw this. Please come again, my dear. Hee hee. Adrian! Adrian! Mr. Apollo, it's a big step for all mankind, man. Mystic glasses. Yes, I got in the local university. Oh, wait, wait. I like seeing Rogue being depressed over there. Was Rogue in all these shots? Not in that one. Mr. Retired Bucket, I started off with riding a train. Um, oh, okay. Sure. Oh, Mr. Music Box, end of year concert at Cargany Hall. Batian, music is the love of my life. That dog doesn't seem impressed. I like that these are like real world locations and they just put the models in here. Dr. Danny, what's your blood type? Darn it. Mr. Cheapot, my gold raccoon, where are you? Hmm. Doctor, I'm doing very well now. Good for you, Chuck. Okay, I guess that's the end of that book. Three Long Life Town. Why did that one say three? Why, wait, why are these saying numbers like this? I think those were all in this section. Why, that one says lo one long life town. They mixed it up. Dr. Phil, I found the rules of happiness. That's a denture. Who's he? Oh, sign guy. Tin signboard. Leave me alone. Pincho Poncho. I might start my own business here with that alpaca. Thief tiptoe for tiptoe, tiptoe. Michelle, you are not happy, are you? Hee hee hee. Policeman, are you a criminal? Julie, I like my chicken grilled. Is he doing stand up? Girl, evil doll. Photo shoot. Look, I'm here too. Look at the guy has Suzuki's face. Miss Plum, have some snacks. Hee 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 hee. Leo, I hate smelly kids. Did you take a bath? I this music's going kind of wild. I still don't like that there's numbers associated with them. What's the nine one? Long Life Town nine. What location is this? Uh, Eucalyptusky. Get a medal for my country. Turtle! Turtle boy, grudge fight! Turtle boy versus rabbit! Look how freaked out I am. Yodzilla first Tokyo, then Kobe, then Osaka. Gym Shack 415. Next stop is Nagio Nagoya. I don't know why I said it like a weirdo. All the time I do. Chopper, I must go home. Conductor, I've been working for 20 years. That's what he says. That's his line. I don't think there's really any indication as to why these are labeled the way they are. Worldly Desire Temple. At least we know why that's Worldly Desire Temple. 
Oh, that's Agony Man. Mmm. Ugh. Why are you on top of that? Snobby Tengu, sometimes I must brag of myself. Oh god, the Voodoo Doll, I'll never forgive you. Eggplant Boy, grow some eggplants on your garden. Good advice. Why is the frog on the card, Mr. Frog? If only it rained every day. Ah, fuck you, Charcoal. Bing. Yeah, don't, I, don't you dare say Bing. At least he didn't say Peely. I, I think I would have flipped out more if he said Peely. Monk, I respect all religions, my man. Bell, train harder. Wait, mm. train harder. How did she fit her bell face in her outfit? Hey, Miss Zombie Mika's okay. Why does it not say her name? It's eye popping delicious. All right, it's Hasty Wizard. If you fall, you just have to get up. It's good advice. Right, next, I think, is Scarecrow. And then Funny Bone. And then we're ready to beat the game. I forgot all about Spider. Man, Spider, I'm hungry. Feed me. 20-year-old guy. I'll be 21 soon. Look, I'm there, too. It's like, where's Waldo? I can't even, like... Like, I know who this is. It's Miss Claim. It says right there. But I can't even tell... Uh, there's her head. It just, I don't know, it looked weird. I, I solved it. I figured it out. I'll be waiting for you at the market. Mr. Sniper, bullseye. I'm gonna stop him from sniping. Oh no, Mr. Target. I'm someone's target? Really? I thought he knew. Scarecrow, I love the smell of the earth. Monkey. Aliens, save the universe with your love. Goddamn monkey. I hope Mecha Yodzilla is fighting regular Yodzilla. Right, add balloon. Blue skies, white clouds, feels good, my man. Robot! Robot King, my kingdom is peaceful as usual. Mecha Yodzilla, I wish I were the regular Yodzilla. Oh, that's sad. I'm still looking for myself. What happened? I thought I found yourself. Swimmer Daniel. Oops, false start. Boxman. Hmm, I'm studying the super string theory. Why? Worker. Mr. President, are you working? No. Where's Waldo? We did it. Game's complete. Wait. No, that was it. I don't know. I, for some reason, I thought, no, we didn't see Goro, but we did. He was filming his dumb doll movie again. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna sleep again just because I do want to see what Dad says. Good night. You better be proud of me, Dad. Kissed everyone. I've collected all 50 Pokemon here. Level 10, that means he has accomplished 100% in kissing. Good night, Rogue. See, he's proud of me. So now we just have to kiss the one person that matters. Yamada. Good morning, wake up. Have a good day, Rogue. Alright, let's go. It's been one hell of a journey. Uh, I'm gonna double check this real quick. I'm kind of sad that Michelle's the last person I'm gonna see before I do this. Well, also he's not up yet. I'm gonna look at uh, Annie. I've kissed so many people. Hi, Rogue. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. I hope your reputation will get better. It's the best it could possibly be. By the way, what is your happiness? And it's happy places. Top three. Spot number three. Daring pipe. Spot number two. Vacant last night. Spot number one. Lover's tree. There's a vista called Lover's tree across the bridge. What was the deal with the like tree sign saying that it'll grab you? I didn't really know what the deal with that was. I also don't really... Should I, like, buy food? What's gonna happen here? I don't know what's gonna happen. 
I don't know what I'm doing here. Because I don't think it's going to just end. It looked like there was a final chapter thing to do when we looked at the uh, way to beat the alien. Thought you were open at one. There you are. I was right. By the way, I didn't thank you for freeing me from prison. Yes. Can I just use it? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Guess we're gonna sit then. Oh, big shot. Rogue, welcome. Uh, how are you? I'm doing fine, sort of, grown-ups. What problems? I solved them all. Hi there, thank you, thank you. I'll let you use the letter set anytime you want. Write a love letter. Let's write a love letter. Yes. I did it. Good love letter. Now what? Yes. Okay, what, what do I do with that? This is a good love letter. You did well. I'll give you an A. Take it to the mailbox. Okay. Right, because I can't. Can you imagine if we just didn't do the mailbox thing and just gave it to Annie? Gave it to the child and we were just done. Also, why do we have to deliver it to the mailbox? Wasn't he the one that takes the mail? I guess it's more of a ceremonial thing. Imagine if now fortune teller's like, yeah, I would like to tell you some fortunes. Again, Michelle's all we see here. Does Goro still sell potatoes? Oh, I need to pick it. Huh? What? You put a good love letter in this mailbox? Your letter won't touch your heart if you use this mailbox. Excuse me? So what mailbox then? What are you talking about? Michelle, I'm not in the mood for you. I think Goro still sells his potatoes, because the wagon wasn't there when he was arrested. I need to go get my mail back. She's the worst. I don't even know who's writing these letters on the walls. I think they're separate people, because obviously one of them was written by Jigsaw, but I don't know. I thought maybe there was a thing with that, since it said, like, mm, I'll meet you. Uh, yeah, what's the deal? I need to talk to you from over here. Oh, big shot. Rogue, welcome. Yeah, you told me to mail it. Let's write a love- what? Yes. Oh, what do I need to do then? So I need to rewrite it to get it back in my inventory. What mailbox? I don't even know where there's another mailbox. Rogue, welcome. How are you? I'm doing fine, sort of. Growing up have their own issue. Hi there, thank you, thank you. Teach me about love? I don't really need to know about love. Three rules to make Annie fall in love with you. Very important. You must remember them all. Well, no thanks. Yes, yes, my hobby. Do you know anything about the mailbox? Is there another mailbox? Train station, mailbox, traffic light, long life apartment, switchboard room, break room mail room? What? That doesn't even tell me where these locations are. That's just where that mailbox was. Never mind. Thank you, thank you. If I give it to Annie, will she tell me where there's another mailbox?
Maybe I'll just give it to people and they'll tell me where to go. Annie, where is there another mailbox so I can deliver this to you? What about it? Yeah, okay, thanks. It's a love letter. Uh, cheap pot, do you know anything about it? I guess I was never able to kiss the dog, which makes me sad. What? What about? No one knows what a. Uh, he shouldn't be here. You wouldn't know because you just want to sell me junk. Oh, yeah, you don't say anything. How's Yamada's hole doing? I'm not gonna be able to kiss him either, so. He's probably just. Still digging. I meant to check him out after I, um... Got- Oh, okay, I guess this is where everyone's hanging out. Why didn't you just tell me to come here then? Principal. Dad's principal? Principal. 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 Mm, principal. Oh, I see his face! Teachers of local junior high, we appreciate your hard work. Thank you very much. I am so happy. Thanks to you, my proud son Rogue is now called Big Shot in town. He's a grown-up. Congratulations, Principal. I knew the Principal's son could do it. He was behind it all along. Was it possible that he thinks we are bad people? I hope not, I'd be sad. I do think you're kind of bad people a little bit. We put a rock on the train tracks, that's a, like, bad people do that. We blocked a pass under the bridge with some stuff. What pass under the bridge? You must think we're terrible. Wait, oh god, wait a minute. I forgot all about that. Robbing, stealing, kicking, dumping? We are the worst of the money-loving grown-ups. No problem, Miss Iwata. You could say that we are good negative examples of life. Teaching what is right is not enough. You correct yourself by looking at other people's bad behaviors. Well done, well done. Uh, but the story hasn't ended yet. Yes, the last lesson awaits him. Yes, unless he takes his good love letter to the mailbox at the bottom of this hole. His love can't touch her. You would think he would just tell me to come here. But Mr. Suzuki... Can he really find this hole? Even if he did, could he reach the bottom of her heart? He's become tough, but he's still young. I have 99 hearts. I should be fine. Ah! Here he comes. Here he comes. Rogue is here. Hide. I like the way they're hiding. Dad? Hey, hey! What are you doing here, Rogue? What a coincidence! Alright, before I look at this hole, I want to show what I think was the bridge that they put trash under, which I don't... Was that supposed to lead somewhere at any point? Because I kind of forgot all about it. Also, everyone's gone and the hole's gone. Who's a good popper is you? Yes, you are. Alright, all the way up here by Dr. Dandy's place... ...was this path. Was this under the bridge? Construction keep out. I, I thought that would open up eventually, but I kind of forgot all about it. It's been... ...been a bit. Alright, time to uh, take the leap. Yeah, was it worth it for me to come all the way over here? It's because I'm scared to take the leap. I hope everyone's still hanging out. Waiting for me to jump in the hole. Like, they kind of made it out like it's your... <laughs> we always just get them hiding. They kind of made it out like it was... Oh, this would have sucked too, to 
try to do the train stuff with her in the way. Um, it was supposed to just be that you eventually find it yourself, which would be easy enough if you had to come here before, but... I just wanted to see what Yamato was doing. I didn't realize the hole would be important. It seems deep. Look farther. What's it gonna do? Kill me? Oh my god, his head fell off. Oh no. Am I like that? Is my body fake? This is like the dreamscape we're going into. I'm okay. I'm kind of surprised that didn't like damage me. This is a spooky cave. I guess we're actually like officially underground then, right? Like this is where everyone else was living. Okay. Roasted sweet potatoes. Fresh and hot. We. I. Drink too much, so I became a potato. Welcome, rogue. I'm drunk. I don't remember my sober face. Which one is my head? Help me, rogue. Rogue. Hot, hot, we. Um, okay, so obviously he was bald. I think it's the middle one? Because, like, small nose, isn't it? He never had his eyes open, because I actually made a comment about how I don't like the way his eyes looked. He had the big lip, so it's not small lip. I think the mole was on his left cheek, and it definitely wasn't on his forehead. So I think it's this one. Me? You pick me? Yeah. He he he. Uh, potato head. He <laughs> right. We've completed the trial. We beat the game. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of neat. Would have been cool to see the underground actually look like this. Who's clapping? Woo! Oh, she is doing stand-up. Anything happening? That's not stand-up, she's singing. Should've known. Silence. That was a good performance, though. Wait, what? Court is now in session. The chicken murder case. Now I'm going to tell you the verdict. The defendant, Julia Arashiyama, is guilty. Your sentence is to be a grilled human. Huh, I see. Objection! You want to make an appeal? Fine. Today, we will have humans take the stand. Let's be fair to both humans and chickens. Now we will start calling the witnesses. 
All testimony given by the witnesses will be evidence. The defendant's counsel may choose who to question. The first witness, please proceed to the stand. What's happening? How am I deciding this? Give testimony? She's my old friend, but I have no motivation to help her. She brought her grilled chicken to my tea party once. It was terrible. I was offended. Give her the death penalty. Oh, Leo, why? This is killing me. Um, give your testimony, Julie. She is good at singing, but honestly, I don't really like her. She tells me my songs are bad. She needs to realize how bad her grilled chicken is. Haha, <laughs> give her the death penalty. Okay, you guys aren't helping me. Please, I'm dying. Uh, how about Michelle? How are you doing? <laughs> Julie's grilled chicken? It tastes very good. It tastes like burnt eggplants. <laughs> okay, that's a positive. I don't think you're gonna be helpful, but whatever. I like drinking. But her grilled chicken burnt not too good. Give her the death penalty. Girl, she was waiting for you. She loves you. Well, Michelle was positive. Yes, a big fan of her I used to be. Every year I still send her gifts, but I don't care about her anymore. Her grilled chicken is not good. Give her the death penalty. Alright, so to make this a good case, I need people that like her grilled chicken. Am I gonna have to just remember this? Really eating away my health. So this is gonna be like a trial thing. I wonder if I- You aren't gonna like her grilled chicken, are you? Her grilled chicken is terrible. Guilty, guilty. Give her the death penalty. I wonder if I can bring food down here and like eat it before we continue on. I think I could easily do this without like dying. But I need to- She has- Nexic da bad chicken disease, that's what it is. She hasn't recovered completely yet, but she keeps cooking grilled chicken. Of course I tried to stop her, she was spreading her disease. Give her the death penalty. I would have liked it more if he was like, oh, she's giving people salmonella, she needs to stop. Hopefully this last person is correct, or else I'm gonna die. I believe in you, Miss Plum. Look at how tiny she is. She's adorable. I wish I could see her out and about town. Please let me give testimony. I love bitter food. Her grilled chicken is burnt. It's very good. She is the best. Hee hee hee. Yeah, we did it. She loves it. All the win- <laughs> So that was all of them. All the witnesses have taken the stand. Now having considered the opinions of humans, I will tell you the verdict. Cooking chicken is a crime, but, having considered the testimony of two people in Long Life Town, the defendant not only cooked grilled chicken, but she cooked it very well, you know, compared to what other people said. Therefore, the defendant is not guilty. Yay, congratulations, court is adjourned. So I would have time to eat if I need to heal. I'm gonna go buy food when I inevitably fail this at 9 health. And then I'm hoping that Michelle and Miss Plum were just the right choices and I won't have the other one's testimony. Oh, it's a giant cat. Oh my god, I don't like those eyeballs. I am a cat. I have no name. I am the last gatekeeper. Rogue is trying to win my Annie. That's supposed to be the cat to Annie and He's a little fatter than... I know everything, you dirty little rat. If you want to open the last door behind me, you must endure my insults. So, this is the dead or alive long life insult quiz. I'll ask you 20 questions. If you're wrong, you're punished. If you stay alive, I'll let you through. 
Now, question number one. Michelle doesn't like everyone except for... Poise Man. Cheapot. Correct. That was a guess. I think that would have been some... Because I'm assuming there's ways to know this. I would assume I would know that if I was showing people more cards. Now, question number two. What is the phone... No, what? No! 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 No way! Uh... Wrong. I'm dead! So, I mean, I know where I can find the number. I wonder if those questions randomize, though. I, I can get through that with... All of my health, at least. I'm gonna have to sit through the cutscene of everyone talking in front of the hole. I'll probably sit through it and then go back and save real quick so I don't have to do it again if I fail this. So I think over here is the... Oh, that does not tell me the hospital. Okay, well, I know that there's phone numbers by the uh, train. So we can learn from that one. I want to head over here anyway so I could buy food. Wonder if I should, um... Actually, do I want to buy food? If I can do this without taking damage, do I have time after the cat? I don't. I... Mm, I don't think I need food. I don't think it's gonna help me. Right, let's go look at the phone number. Eight two eight eight two eight two. I did like the other one. It was an eight two eight. Damn. All right. Well, again, I don't know how much damage the cat does to me, which is going to be a problem. The biggest thing is whether or not it's going to be the same questions over and over again, because I can probably get through that. If it's like a, if it's a pool of questions that the cat can pull from, that's going to be a bit of an issue. 